Hello, so buying a new MacBook Pro can be really expensive and saving any money is a bonus. Well in this video I'm going to give you three ways to get a reduced price MacBook Pro, although really this applies to any Mac product from a Mac computer to an iPod. I'll leave links down below in case you want to buy or check out a MacBook Pro for yourself and let's get on with the list. At number three we have eBay. So this one might seem really obvious, but you can buy MacBook Pros from eBay. Now it's good because they've got a huge selection, a huge range of Mac products on there. Everything from faulty MacBook Pros through to slightly older and cheaper MacBook Pros, all the way through to brand new top of the range MacBook Pros. It's an especially good way to get a MacBook Pro if a seller has put the buy it now or best offer feature on their listing because then you can send an offer to the seller and haggle with them and see if you can get some discount. Another good reason to buy from eBay is the 30 day money back guarantee so if you receive your MacBook Pro and it's broken or faulty you will get your money back. A side point is that eBay is actually a really good place to sell your um, old Mac computer if you don't want it anymore and if you're buying a new one you don't need your old one so you can get the money for that and put it towards your new Mac. At number two we have Mac sales. So I've done a video before about Mac sales that it's a great place to buy solid state drives which are SSDs or memory to upgrade your existing MacBook Pro. I'll leave a link down below to that guide in case you want to have a go doing that. And indeed maybe that's all you need to do. Maybe you don't need to buy a brand new Mac computer. You can just upgrade your existing one to bring it up to date. Or perhaps you could even buy a slightly older Mac and then upgrade it yourself. Well MacSales.com actually have their own selection of used Mac products at really good prices. Now they may not seem that good to start with but then when you actually realize that they upgrade the solid state drives in a lot of their MacBook Pros to one terabyte and you work out the cost of that you actually find out that they are superb value for money and it saves you the hassle of having to upgrade it yourself and as well as money back guarantees and all that sort of stuff they're actually currently shipping their MacBook Pros with uh, a copy of Parallels so you could run Windows as well as Mac OS on your MacBook if you needed to and indeed I've upgraded my own 2014 MacBook Pro using an SSD I bought from MacSales.com and it's worked really well well. At number one we have Apple Refurbishment or Education Store. So another way of getting a really good price is to buy from Apple believe it or not. They actually have an education store and a refurbishment store. So you might be familiar with the standard Apple store with all the products listed in it. Well if you scroll to the bottom of the page you will find in very small writing that in the kind of place you usually find the sort of terms and conditions and stuff you will actually find links to the education store and the refurbishment store. So let's just talk about the education store for a minute. So you have to be a member of a university or a higher education um, institution and apparently you could save up to £434 on the price of a brand new Mac which um, is a superb saving. Now the second store is the refurbishment store. So they sell everything in here, not just MacBook Pros, everything from iPods through to computers at a reduced price. Now I've bought from this refurbishment store before and the item you receive is absolutely immaculate. You wouldn't know that it was used apart from the fact they do tend to ship them in a plain box. So these are products basically that somebody's bought, decided they didn't want or there was a small fault that Apple's fixed and they sell it to you at a reduced price. So that really is excellent value for money. And you also get the same warranty on these products that you get with a brand new Apple product. So that's worth bearing in mind. Anyway I hope that this video has given you some ideas about how you could get a cheap MacBook Pro or other Mac products. I'll leave a link as I said to the three stores down below in case you want to check them out for yourself and I shall see you next time for another video.